Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about preeclampsia and eclampsia. So, preeclampsia is a common condition that only affects pregnant women. It may be difficult to define preeclampsia as it is a syndrome of clinical features that are quite variable and also it is an area of ongoing research. According to a clinical review on the British Medical Journal, which the link will be in the description, until recently, the accepted definition of preeclampsia was a new onset hypertension, um, which means just high blood pressure, and proteinuria, which is protein being excreted in urine, um, both of these developing after 20 weeks of gestation. The more accepted definition nowadays is a new onset hypertension after 20 weeks of gestation accompanied by one or more of the following. So we could have proteinuria, maternal organ dysfunction, uh, this includes the liver, the kidneys or even neurological dysfunctions, and utero-placental dysfunctions. Um, an example is fetal growth restriction. Now according to the NHS, a mild preeclampsia affects up to 6% of pregnancies, while severe preeclampsia develops in about 1-2% of pregnancies. So it is a very common condition. And if left untreated, preeclampsia may develop to eclampsia, which is characterized by the onset of seizures. Uh, eclampsia is very serious, and it may lead to death due to stroke, intracranial hemorrhage, or acute respiratory distress syndrome. As of the pathophysiology of the condition, it is not well understood. However, preeclampsia may be divided into early onset and late onset preeclampsia. Now, early onset is believed to be due to an abnormal placentation, uh, so meaning the formation of the placenta while late onset is believed to be due to the senescence of the placenta and a maternal predisposition to cardiovascular disease and metabolic disease. Now, according to the NHS, the symptoms of preeclampsia are hypertension and proteinuria, and as the disease progresses, one develops swelling due to fluid retention or edema, severe headache, vision problems, and pain just below the ribs. According to the Mayo Clinic, the only absolute treatment for preeclampsia is the delivery of the baby. However, there are some medications that could be used to prevent the progression of the disease. And these include antihypertensives, so medications to lower blood pressure, corticosteroids for severe preeclampsia, as they can temporarily improve liver and platelet function, and they may also help in the maturation of the baby's lungs, which is important in premature delivery. Finally, we have anticonvulsants, um, such as magnesium sulfate, and they are used to prevent a first seizure. Now, to help in your learning, here are some questions on preeclampsia. You may pause the video uh, to think about your answer. Preeclampsia is defined as a new onset hypertension after how many weeks of gestation? What is the defining feature of eclampsia? Which of the following is not a symptom of preeclampsia? What is the definitive treatment of preeclampsia? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I hope this was helpful.